Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Superbike 22. It's time to continue our career mode with the BMW. It's time for the Netherlands World Superbike Race. It's time for Assen. So here we go then from the first BMW pole position right here in Assen. Away we go. We got seven laps of the fantastic Circuit of Holland. So into the first corner we're still in fourth place but i'm going to try and go around the outside ruben rinaldi's held that in nicely pushed us deep it's now bassani and rinaldi the two ducatis getting to the dream start that they would have wanted alvaro baptista in fourth just behind the lone bmw in the top eight contact made there with baptista as he sneaks up on the inside speaking of sneaking up on the inside i've got one up the inside on you oh beautifully done as we dive back up on the inside now I need to be careful here with the power. I've got to try and drop it down to two when we can and when we need to. So I'm going to try and balance and engage it throughout this Grand Prix. And uh, of course, guys, as the sign says, be sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. So, back over now to Steckenval for the first time of asking. We've got to do that one six more times in this one as Bautista's trying to get the Ducati up on the inside. Not happening. Close the door, the metaphorical door, into his face. He's still there, though. Alvaro Bautista wants to get through, but we're not going to let him. I don't really want to be using power setting three for much longer, but not when the fuel says minus four. I'm going to keep an eye on that as we can go, but for now, Rinaldi and Bassani look like they're getting away somewhat. Four tenths of a second it is to Ruben Rinaldi and five tenths to Axel Bassani. So to the left hand side, we'll try and attack the number 21 into the uh, Guillotin Chicane we go. Go tight to the apex and back across to the left. I'm going to cut the corner there. That's a mistake. That's a mistake on my behalf. Whoops. Trying to avoid that. I didn't really do that much in the practice sessions. Felt quite confident, so I'm making that small mistake there. As we go into Harbock a little bit aggressively. A little bit deep. Caught on the rubble strip. Whoa, those damn curbs in Superbike 22. They are just lethal. As we'll try and fight back against the Panigale. We do recover third place, but a concerning moment for the man on board, the M1000 double R. So big power now required for the short straight. As we go underneath the Pirelli bridge, for the Pirelli signs, we'll try and get over to the right hand side here and start braking on the angle. Nice and gentle on the brakes, bring it over for the left, and bring on the acceleration once more. Now over to the second Volcano for turn eight. The next corner approaching for turn 9, De Bult always catches me out here in Superbike 22 as we're closing in on Rinaldi. A little bit aggressive, getting caught on the Panigale. The V4R have certainly felt the contact as we go into Mandeville for turn 10. And now for the difficult right-handers and whoa, Bassani's either got wide there or Rinaldi give him a shove as we'll go round the outside of Panigale and we now go into second place. Good to beat the number 47 because of course that's my number when we play motor gp and ride four as well so michael ruben rinaldi looking promising to start this season i know he wants to beat alvaro and i'm sure he wants to get it done in real life and in video game form as well so sticking with power setting three if we get past rinaldi as we are the fastest man on the circuit a 133 659 for the man on board the german manufactured bike as we go into harbot can we go around the outside not gonna happen would have been rather impressive if we were able to make that one stick. So back over now for here in lap three of race one. Don't forget, guys, race two and the Super Bowl race will be in tomorrow's video. So stay tuned if you're enjoying this one. But look at that up at the inside for Struben. Turn five. Iconic Dr. Ace maneuver. We go up at the inside. We hold the position. And now we can drop it down to power setting two. But the pressure will be on. Now, I don't know if you caught a glimpse of that, but that heart rate monitor... Went into the red part, so I think you have to get over 130 for it to go to red. So I do get a little bit intense when playing Superbike 22. I'm right on cue, it's a 132, 123. So it's, it's certainly teetering around uh, the red point, so I've got to be careful. But going into DeBolt, I really don't have the confidence going into there. And the BMW is struggling on the corners at the moment. Not bad on the brakes, but you'll see here, it's a prime example. Going into the right for the Duke's loop. You just see the rear just slip, stepping out ever so gently. Not too bad with power setting 2, but with power setting 3, it's very, very sensitive. Now, the electronics are running, as you can see in the bottom right corner of your screen, is a TC2, so traction control setting at 2, anti-wheelie at 3, engine brake on 4, and the power is going to change as this one goes. But now, 
into the gear, Timmy Chicane once more. Back over to the right, careful, don't want to be rolling over the rumble strip, you'll lose time there, but we are still fastest man on circuit. This is looking promising, nerve-wracking as it is, we could have the first BMW victory this season. As you know, BMW weren't successful last season, in video game form or in real life, but this time they could be in just the f fourth, fourth race of the season. We did three in Aragon, pretty decent results to be fair. We had one podium in the Super Bowl session, but it's very, very important that we start our championship defense with a victory here in Assen. I love this circuit, one of my favorites ever, and I really love Estoril and Mazzano. It's coming up as well, so we could get a lot of momentum if we start it right here in race one. Now, in theory, as long as we stay ahead of Rinaldi and Bautista, I could use a lot of power setting two, but if needed, we can try power setting three, but late on the brakes for DeBolt. That's going to cost us. That's going to cost us massively. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, I don't believe I've done that. Oh, no. Got to fight back here. We've got to get past Ambassani. That was aggressive, but we've got to get back at these two now. You see the bike struggling on the right-hand side of the tyre. The SCX might have been a gamble. My whole vision for this one, the ethos of choosing the SCX was if we get to the front, we use power setting two, or we just go for it. We will have that grip to be competitive. So I needed to get to the front. We got to the front, but oh, contact about this. Oh, they're stuck on the bike. No, that's cost us massively. Oh, I can't believe that. That's one bloody annoyance in Superbike 22. Also, MotoGP does it as well. If, uh, if the rider tries to go for the same position as you do, you are the one who tends to lose out. So in that instance, I don't know why it does it, but we have a wheelie. There was no reason we should have wheelied there, but unfortunately, by getting that wheelie, I couldn't get the bike in where I wanted to. I couldn't angle the... Ah, that's so annoying. So the gear to Michigan there has cost us massively, but with power setting three, look at the fuel. Look at the fuel. We were plus three a moment ago, and now it's down to plus 0 0.3, 0 0.4. No, oh, it's going worse. We need to be on our best behaviour here. Bautista's having a go on Ruben Rinaldi. The attack is being launched from the Spaniard. The 37-year-old, is he now, Bautista? Against the young Ruben Rinaldi. So hopefully Michael can defend here, but hopefully at the same time he slows Bautista's charge down. I don't want to be losing any points to Alvaro. Of course, as we know, he took me out in the first race in Aragon as we are losing time here. We're losing power on the right side. The SCX was not the right decision. Well, it would have been if I hadn't made that mistake into uh, race one. Do tend to find I'm a bit of a Rinaldi myself, actually. Start off a bit sluggish, and by the time we get to the Super Bowl session and then for race two, we're absolutely on it. And speaking of on it, we've got to tackle the gear Timmy Chicane correctly here. Nice and tight to the first apex. Back over to the left for the next. Keep it off the rumble strip across the line. Bautista's the fastest. He took a good chunk of time away from our lap time earlier. Six tenths of a second quicker he went. We managed to improve by two tenths, but it's not enough to get back at these Ducatis. And you can see visibly and judging by the heart rate monitor how damn hard I'm pushing to stay with these Ducatis right now. They are the, by far the most superior bikes on the grid. And the M1000RR is just being ragged around this Assen circuit here in the Netherlands. I'm giving it everything. Shame uh, teammate Michael Vandermark wasn't up here fighting. He should be in his home Grand Prix, but I guess as my home Grand Prix went in Kawasaki land last year, <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm going to put too much pressure on him to be that great. But anyway, penultimate lap here, ladies and gentlemen. Gap is currently sitting around a second to Bautista. And Michael Ruben Rinaldi is doing the defence of his life here against the current world champion in real life terms. Does Bautista do what he did, or at least what Ruben Rinaldi did to uh, Bassani about five laps ago? So far it hasn't happened yet. As we go now to the tight part of the apex of turn 12, we'll charge over to 13 for the hog hide and then back over to Ramshuk for 15 here on the left hand side. A little bit deep, I used it to go for the tighter apex, but early on the brakes, nice and gentle, pulling it in. We're going to close in, but it's not going to be enough. It's really not close enough. We're going to improve our lap time, but Ruben Rinaldi. Then top rack. He's in seventh, but Ruben Rinaldi was temporarily the fastest there with a 132.9. 
we have also improved our lap time by another tenth at this stage of the Grand Prix with the SC1 and the SCX tyres. That's damn impressive. The SC1, a very soft front tyre. The SCX is the softest that we're going to be able to use here in race one. Of course, we will be using the SCQ for the Super Bowl session. You've got to take that gamble when you're in the Super Bowl, but unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to catch up to these guys now. I think I'm going to have to yield and just accept the third place. It's not a bad result, that. Third place is certainly not the end of the world. Never mind about that. Bassani out of nowhere pinches it here into turn seven, then turn eight. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fight on our hands. Someone's gone to sleep, and I've made that mistake. Oh, struggling into DeBolt then, getting it caught on the rumble strip once again. That's twice in about three corners we got caught on the rumble strip. Heart rate is getting up to 133 now. We've got to attack Bassani. Too little, too late. It could be here. Four tenths of a second. We've got to use the speed of the BMW M1000 double R as we now go to the hog hide for 13. Back across to the left hand side for 14, then 15 again. That's that tight apex of one. Got to attack him here. Got to go for the lunge. Not close enough. Do we get it on the change of direction? Oh, the podium. Oh, I can't believe it. I've, it's just slipped through my fingers. Oh, I can't believe that. I made one mistake all race, and that's the one I do it on the final lap. Ah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's that then done. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Fair play to Rinaldi for the winning that one and defending valiantly against Alvaro Bautista. But guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video for Super Bowl race and race two. So guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. But more importantly, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss any more Dot Race content. Consider becoming a member if you would like, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.